Hello everyone, in this video, I will explain you how we do substitution in SAP documents. So, uh, the use or need of substitution is as similar to validation uh, that we ensure the consistency and correctness of the data entered in financial accounting documents. Let's understand by seeing the definition. So the substitution, in substitution, the values entered into SAP system are validated according to prerequisite defined by the user. If the prerequisite is met, the system replaces the values entered with other value. It works in an empty field and replaces the existing value in that field as per the substitution rule. Substitutions are not supported by the document parking feature. Substitution can only be made with posting transaction after turning park documents into accounting documents. The transaction code we have is OBBH and we also have a menu bar that I will explain you when we'll go to SAP Easy Access screen. Also, we can uh, create substitution by GGB1 but then we need to activate it through the other transaction, OKB9. So right now I shall be explaining you OBBH. So let's go to our easy access screen, our SAP remote access. This is my screen. And the path for substitution is Under the reference IMG, I will be going to financial accounting, then account receivable and payable. Under this, we have business transactions, then incoming invoices and credit memo. So again, my substitution will fall in incoming invoices and outgoing invoices credit memo. So I can uh, do the substitution by using any of these transactions. Under this, we have make and check document settings. And in this, we have the substitution in accounting documents. Okay. So let's create our own uh, business scenario. So now for example, we have a vendor or in case of our foreign vendors or foreign transaction. So this is a data entry for the vendor accounting. Now in this case, we want to change now you see the header data display document header in this we have document header text and we have reference right now it is empty so i am planning uh, to uh, give substitution in these fields so that uh, the data automatically falls into it uh, when uh, my currency or the transaction is in foreign currency. So let's take this as a business scenario that in case my transaction is in foreign currency, not in my, uh, my local currency, then I want a reference to be separated. Okay, so this is the substitution in accounting document screen. Here I will do the new entry. Give my company code, then call point. Now in this case, I'm doing the substitution in document header. So I'll just enter the header. And uh, as it does not exit, exist let's create so my this screen would open now i will go to i i need to do the description here so i'm doing change in reference and doc header I'll define the steps. So now what I need to do, I need to select 
the description the fields i want it for substitution so now here document header text and the next thing i would like to choose is a reference Uh, so here it is a reference and I will select it. So for both of them I want it to be a constant value. So we can choose any of these three a constant value we want to exit or we want a field assignment. So in both the substitu uh, substitution I want it to be a constant value. Let's keep it simple in that way. So now under this step, the two main steps are created. Number one, the prerequisite. Second is the substitution part. So what's the prerequisite? Uh, so if we see in uh, this document and we discuss that currency would be the unique factor. And if we enter separate currency from our local currency, let me just show you F1, this currency key, then the substitution should take place, right? So I'm opting currency. Let me just find currency. Enter. So we are getting source currency as well. If we'll just find more. Then we have local currency, group currency. Oh my God. So there are so many of these. Uh, and we also have currency itself. So we can just see it by uh, displaying the technical name. So in this case, what happens? We get the technical names. And this is the name W-A-E-R-S. We can also cross-check it from this screen that I'll show you how when we'll press F1 in the currency segment we'll get the technical name display or information here also so the table name we have BKPF and the data element is or field name is WAERS in our substitution field WAERS Okay, so this would be our currency. We select the currency and we'll just do the constant as, let's put USD. Okay, so uh, this is how we have given the prerequisite that anytime if the currency would be USD, then the substitution would be for like both the fields, we just need to, like for document header, we may say that uh, um, discount, discount 20% flat. And the reference would be, The reference would be foreign customer. Right? And we can save it. So now the save and generation completed successful. Uh, so we'll just go back so now my substitution is created I should activate it
done. Uh, we can check it by doing an FB70 entry. Just select the customer. Uh, we just need to confirm that the company code we are using is ours. So it's 1812, it's ours. So that's fine. Now here, when we change the entry to USD and enter, okay, we need to put invoice date also and enter automatically this reference foreign customer uh, is uh, is taken by default now in details section also we can see see the header text is discount 20 percent flat so this is what we have given in our substitution rule and now in case we want to overwrite it for example and enter it will not take it it will not override it or uh, if we want to delete it and enter it will again display the same things so under uh, substitute sorry under substitution when we assign uh, the substitution value it will not override or delete it it will give uh, the data as per we as per we have defined in a substitution rule so this is how the substitution rules are done in sap s for hana thank you all for listening have a really good day